were destroyed by punishment sent by Allah. Since they have turned their backs on the true religion and rebelled against Allah, these people were destroyed by great disasters when they were not expecting them. This is a recompense given by Allah in this world to those who disbelieve. But the ultimate recompense those who do evil will get will be eternal torment in the hereafter because they did not measure Allah with his true measure and was ungrateful to him in the face of his infinite mercy. Al-Qudus, the Holy. Everything in the heavens and everything in the earth glorifies Allah, the King, the Holy, the Almighty, the All-Wise. Allah is the sole creator of everything on the earth, in the sky, in the depths of space and under the ground. The order, law and harmony that we can see just by looking around us all belong to Him. The worlds that we cannot see or perceive have also yielded to Allah. As revealed in the Quran, Allah keeps a firm hold on the heavens and earth, preventing them from vanishing away. And if they vanished, no one could then keep hold of them. Certainly, He is most forbearing, ever forgiving. It is our Lord who creates and maintains all things. Man, the servant of Allah, is totally helpless. He makes mistakes, forgets, is deceived and distracted. People are both physically and spiritually weak. All through their lives, they have to take care of their bodies and constantly pay great attention to them. If they make their bodies work a little too hard, go without sleep for a few days, or go one day without water, they become very weak. All these things are created for man to think about and learn from. Allah, the creator of all and the possessor of the most beautiful names, is exalted over all these imperfections. Malik ul Mulk, the eternal owner of sovereignty. Say, O Allah, owner of sovereignty, you give sovereignty to whoever you will. You take sovereignty from whoever you will. You exalt whoever you will. You abase whoever you will. All good is in your hands. You have power over all things. When you look around you, wherever you are now, everything you see has an owner. The chair you are sitting in is made up of atoms created by its owner. The flower in the pot grows because the sun and water given it by its owner. The ocean you see through the window and everything living in it are there because their owner so wishes. The owner of all these things and the entire universe is the almighty Allah. Lord of all the worlds. Even your body is under the control of He who created you, quite independently of you. Your limbs, veins, nervous system, and cells are all the product of your owner's superior knowledge and artistry. None of these things came about because you decided to design and create them. When you first opened your eyes on the world, you encountered both the flawless system in your own body as well as the world you live in and even the whole universe. Yet you owned none of these things before. 
and neither will it be possible for you to do so of your own will in the future. This fact applies to all people, of course. That being the case, the sovereignty of everything belongs to our Creator, Allah, the Lord of all. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, the All-Merciful and the Most Merciful. He is Allah. There is no God but Him. He is the knower of the unseen and the visible. He is the All-Merciful, the Most Merciful. The infinite compassion and favor of Allah, the All-Merciful, is represented in everything visible or not. It is these, visible and invisible blessings that allow man to survive. Allah's mercy is everywhere. For instance, it is Allah who every day causes billions of seeds to sprout up from under the ground, who covers the whole planet with its internal temperature of 4,500 degrees with fertile soil who causes tons of life-giving water to fall from the sky, who at the same time provides food for all the billions of living things all over the world, who creates the oxygen that fills our lungs every minute and surrounds the countless things he has created with life-giving blessings. It is Allah who creates every single one of the 100 trillion cells in the human body, who teaches each one its own duties, who places the DNA that contains one million pages of information in each one, who has the whole system constructed by protein, fat and water molecules that he has squeezed into an area much smaller than a millimeter across, and uses these to give life to man and allow him to survive. From the moment they are born until they return to the soil, people know and recognize only the blessings bestowed upon them by Allah and live thanks to them. In the same way that some people see these blessings, understand the purpose behind their creation and serve Allah, there are others who are ungrateful and turn their backs on Him. Despite this, Allah still manifests His attribute of all-merciful in the most supreme way. Those who disbelieve still benefit from the air they breathe, the water they drink, and all the visible and invisible blessings in the life of this world. Allah gives them possessions, the nice houses they live in, and children to continue their lines, just as He does to believers. He gives them good provisions too, he gives them health, strength, and beauty. That is a manifestation of his attribute of the All-Merciful. Allah allows unbelievers to benefit from such things in the hope that maybe they will turn to religion, come to their reason, and give thanks. Yet it must not be forgotten that those who turn their backs on Allah's verses will only be able to enjoy His blessings in this world. In the hereafter, all blessings will only belong to the faithful who use the favors given them by Allah in order to draw closer to Him, seek His good pleasure, and give thanks. This is a manifestation of Allah's attribute of the Most Merciful, Razak, the provider. Truly Allah, He is the provider, the possessor of strength, the sure.
Allah is most gentle and compassionate towards His servants and allows them to live on land that is full of blessings. To such an extent that soil produces shoots and greenery even when man does not work it. Out of that soil come yellow, green, red and orange fruits and vegetables. The bright blue seas are also full of thousands of delicious and different tasting fish. It is Allah, the provider, who gives us these things. Allah gives all these blessings to man in the life of this world 